guys. Afternoon. How is everybody doing on this Saturday afternoon or early evening? My name is Michaela and I am from Paint Fixation in Melbourne, Florida. Welcome, welcome. If you're just popping on, please let me know where you're from, who you are, and let me know if you've ever used Dixie Belle paint. Um, if you're wanting to try it or not. And if you are, I'm happy to help. So this is going to be a quick live because, um, hi Wilma. This is going to be a quick live because I'm in my garage. I have the door down because the sun was reflecting so badly in here. I couldn't see and I can't turn my fan on or you won't be able to hear me. So this, I'm, I'm, it is like 180 degrees in here. But I wanted to show you how I strip my furniture. This is the piece that I was telling you about the other day, and it is in terrible shape. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I think I should have just left it at the place I got it from, but that's okay. It'll be a good working piece. Um, and I don't always strip, I try to avoid it, but if, if I have pieces that are really, really gunky and yucky, I always strip them because sanding those pieces, you almost can never clean them well. And um, sanding it just pushes the gunk into the wood. So for some pieces, I, I have to strip it. And I will show you on this other piece why I don't need to strip those pieces and I can just clean them and um, I probably won't even have to sand those. I do have my sander out just in case. But um, this is the product that I use to strip because it um, doesn't smell bad. Um, it's... There's no fumes. It works really well if you use it the way I use it. I mean, not everybody has their ways of stripping. Um, even some states don't have the products that you need for stripping. But I'm going to show you. So I just, I've just got an old brush here, okay? And I have some plastic somewhere. What do I do with it? Okay. I don't, I don't have any. Um, so usually I just use saran wrap, which is fine. But I'm going to use a bag that I've already cut up, okay? So what I do is I'm going to put my glasses on here so I can see, although it's probably going to fall off my face because of the sweat, but anyway. So this is Citrus Strip, okay, and this container will be plenty for this project. It's very thick, and I'm just going to put some on here to see how much I'm going to need. But the secret with the Citrus Strip is you want to keep it wet. A lot of people will put this on, and then they'll come back and later and it's all dry and it's not working anymore. Um, when it becomes dry, it stops working. You have to keep it wet. Now it does say like it's a, see and I'll, I'll need a lot more on this. It does say like, um, let's see, it says 30 minutes up to 24 hours do a scrape test. I almost always have to wait overnight. Um, because it's not a harsh product, it does take longer, but um, I have so much that I can do while this is working that um, it doesn't matter how long it takes because I've got so much to do. But I always, always wear gloves, and these gloves are amazing. These, I do not sell these, they just, I just love them. Um, they're denim gloves, of course, with everything going on now. I don't know if you can get them. I got them at Lowe's, but you can get them on Amazon. I think actually cheaper on Amazon. But, um, and this smells like oranges. It's not harsh at all. But this is already, I'll bring you over here in just a minute to show you how it's already bubbling up. So I might get lucky on this piece, depending on what was used on this. Um, I might get lucky and not have to wait overnight. So let's see here. So who's watching? Say hi. I see my aunt's on here, but she hasn't said hello. She doesn't know I can tell she's on here. Aunt Kay, I see you. Say hi. And if you would um, like, you are welcome to share this video. I don't have a little sign, so I'm just going to come out and say it. Um, that was much appreciated if you do that. And if you're not already following me on my page, you should follow me so that you'll get notifications when I go live. 
And I know that Facebook is not always doing notifications because one of my friends, in fact, she's going to get mad that I didn't tell her I was going to lie. Melissa, if you come on here, I'm sorry. This was kind of a last minute thing. Um, I was going to come out here earlier, but it was so stinking hot earlier that I just could not even. And now it's the, I missed my window of opportunity. It had cooled off a little bit because of a little short storm that came through the area and um, and I've missed that opportunity. But let me bring you over here. Well, I'll give it just a, I'll give it just a minute. I'm gonna do these um, drawers too. Let me bring this down. Oops, sorry. Let's see if I can tilt this down. I don't know if I so these are the drawers. And again, I I may have been able to sand these, but um, it's not a very big piece, so it's not um, it is not going to this is not going to take that much. And I like I said, I can already see that bubbling up there, so I'm, I have a feeling the finish on this is just old and gross, so I don't think it's going to take much to get it off. And as much as I say I hate stripping, um, there is a lot of satisfaction in it <laughs> because you, um, when you get done and you look back at what you have, um, it's it's kind of cool to you know to see where you started and and then where you ended up. Okay. So this is just, I'm just putting light coats on here to see how much I'm going to need, but I can already see it working. So I'm not sure what is on these things, but it's black and it's gross. So I honestly, this is, to me is just better than sanding it. Um, and like I said, I don't know that it would even sand off. I am so hot. You know I love y'all when I want you to see how to do something and I will come out here in this heat and show you because I know stripping is intimidating for a lot of people, but it really is not hard. It's just messy. Um, it's, not, it's not hard to do. And especially if you're not sure if you want to paint a piece, if you're thinking maybe you want to, um, you know, refinish a piece, this is... You know, this is the way you do it. You have to get the finish off or sand down. And like I said, this is such a gunky finish. I question my judgment sometimes when I get pieces. But, um, you know. Now, this stuff is doesn't have fumes, and it's, it's pretty gentle. But it does, it will sting you a little bit if you get it on your skin. Um, so, you, you know, you want to be careful with that. Hot. I might have to open that garage when I'm done doing this. And then y'all can see. Maybe y'all might see better even. Now one more drawer. And then I'm going to show you how this is already activating. And this stuff seems to go, even though it looks like I'm putting a huge ton on here, it really seems to go far. I'm going to have to repair that corner right there. I think it's got a little gouge in it. Okay. So that's that. All right. I'm going to open the garage so a breeze comes through here, and then I'm going to show you how it's working. Let me take my gloves off and then I'm going to bring the, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod. Hopefully I won't drop it. Okay, and I'm going to, I'm going to turn you guys around. Oh, it's already turned around. Look at that. Okay. So let me show you what it's going to look like. So do you see here how it's starting to bubble up? 
this is how you know it's it's working okay um like right here look at this all that let me get let me see do i have i'm gonna get a screwdriver i don't want to make y'all dizzy so i'm gonna walk slow because someone accused of me of being dizzy making the other day and although um it wasn't intentional you know it happens there's wilma okay so i'm just i'm just i don't have my scraper right here but i'm just going to show you look at this see that It's all coming up already. You see that? That's how easy it is. And I'll put the plastic on here while I'm waiting for it to continue working because the longer you let it work, the easier it will become off. Now these down here, it looks like the finish might be a little thinner on it because I am getting some here that's working really well but then there are other places that aren't bubbling up quite as much and that could just be because the finish on it is thinner but there were some pieces on here that were so thick now I want to show you over here this piece that I'm not going to have to strip these are the little end tables that I showed you you see them okay and I have already taken the hardware off of these okay and look at how yucky that is and then this one over here I cleaned it with white lightning Okay, and I didn't, I haven't finished all the edges yet or anything, but I wanted to show you, this is really crusty and gross. Okay, it's yucky. But look how, this is just a quick spray and a quick wipe. I didn't even scrub this with a scrubby or anything. I just wiped it down. Now, I am kind of curious about this one over here. Let me get my white lightning and see what happens to this. This looks like somebody put a rusted pan on here. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to do, but let's, let's see. Hang on. All right, so I'm just going to start scrubbing it. Okay, it's coming off pretty good. You see that? That might take a little bit of, a um, little bit more elbow grease to get that off. But this piece right here, you see that, is chipping, okay? I'm probably gonna have to hit that with a little bit of sandpaper. Okay, that's just because it's it's actually bubbling up. It's not like right here where it's indented in. This I'll probably just put a little bit of mud over. Or maybe I'll do a faux finish on them. I'm not sure yet. Now on the inside of this one, and I'm just showing you some different things that you might ha might happen when you get a piece of furniture. But look at this. This is it looks like, it looks like someone's hair pick was laying in here and I don't know what in the heck was on it. I don't think that this is going to even budge this because it's so gross. I'm probably going to have to just scrape it and sand it, but let's just see. It's, I mean, it's weird, guys. It's like raised. It almost looks like maybe it had gel on it or something and they threw it in their drawer. But you can see the white lightning getting some of the yuck off, but not the, um, the raised part. I don't know. I'm going to have to do something with that. That's going to probably take a scraper and a sand and a heavy duty sandpaper. But then let's come over here one more time before I go and just see how this is doing. Again, you can see it's even more. Look at that. I might be able to do this tonight. Usually I wait overnight. But you can see how it's working and how long have we been on here? I don't know what the time is, but I'm thinking maybe 10 minutes, maybe if that. And then again with the drawers, you can see how it's starting to bubble. Okay. Now, like I said, you don't always have to do this. Let me put you back up here. Hang on. Okay, where's my, why is this, okay, here it is, woo-woo, okay, all right. Hey guys, let me turn it this way, I'm getting a glare, there we go, okay. So again, you don't always have to strip your furniture, but, um, and like I said, I rarely do it but 
sometimes for me, stripping it is easier than cleaning and sanding because of whatever finish was on this. It was just gross. So um, I probably won't have to do the sides of it. There are some thick areas in between the drawers. Um, I, I don't know what they put on it, but um, it's gross. It's just gross. So that, so, and this piece over here is not going to get any strip on it. This piece is going to just be cleaned. This is going to, and I tell you, we should probably, let's see. I'm going to take you over here on the tripod and see if we can um, see how dirty this piece is. Can y'all see it? I might, I might take you off of there again. But usually you can see it as it runs off. Oh, yeah. Let me bring y'all down here and show you this. I'm going to flip you around again. Look at that. You see that? I literally barely sprayed this. I am going to have a job to do here. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Gross. Yep. That's going to be a lot of work. Anyway, it's going to be beautiful, though. I don't know if anybody was this watching didn't see this piece the other day. But um, here, let me flip it back around again. Hang on. This is the piece that I got the other day. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm in love with it. Well, my husband's even more in love with it than I am. Oh, why does this keep doing this? Anybody know? But this is the piece I got the other day. And we got a key for it. And it has all these drawers. Everything works perfect. They're dovetail. We've decided that it is a linen. Everything's, it's actually pretty clean on the inside. It's got a little, you know, we've got lots of cleaning to do. But um, it really is a gorgeous piece. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I am going to let you go. As you can see, I'm just a mess. Um, I did get to go in my pool today a little bit. Um, it was nice out until it started storming. But um, I'm going to let you go. If you're, just ca if you're just jumping on, catch the replay to see how to strip your furniture. And I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow when we get it all done. When we get it, well, not done, but wiped down. <laughs> all right, I'll see you all later. Thanks, bye.